networks and other internet platforms alike are an instrument of change and why? Thank you for your question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. I think social media is a wonderful way to be able to create change. As we all know, social media, you can spread messages like wildfire. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you're a politician, if you're just an individual who wants to make change, and you send your message out on social media, chances are it can be heard by thousands, if not millions of people. So I think social media, there may be some downfalls, but for the most part, it can be used for wonderful things. So, the question is, what is your stand on Canada being involved in peacekeeping missions in other countries? Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, my opinion for other countries um, helping Canada is that I believe that it is a good thing because if we work as a team, I feel as though it can help out everyone in the long run and it can create world peace and just make a difference in the world for everyone and live a better life if we all work together. Thank you. Education is a universal right, yet many Canadians cannot afford the cost of university tuition. Do you think that post-secondary education should be free in Canada? Why or why not? Thank you very much for that excellent question. Good evening, judges. Good evening, wonderful audience. You are amazing. <laughs> so my answer to this question, education, I think one of the main reasons that um, there are lots of things that are happening in the world is due to lack of education. Education is the number one solution to so many problems in the world. And if we can provide that here in Canada, then we can provide solutions to all kinds. We can produce great people. So I definitely believe that education is an excellent thing to do. Sorry. Your question is, if you had to write a book, what would it be and why? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. If I had to write a book, it would definitely be about inspiration, about respect, about integrity, compassion, and striving for excellence. The acronym for this is actually RICE, and it's something that my father taught me, and it's something that I've learned along my life path, and I would like to encourage other people about that. Those are fundamentals, respect, integrity, compassion, and striving for excellence. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you. What is a new law that you would pass if you had the opportunity? Uh, if I had the opportunity, a new law that I would pass um, would be... <laughs> um, as silly as it sounds, it would be just having respect for everyone. I think it's so important that um, you know, in a, in a country such as Canada, where it, we live in a multicultural country, and it's so important to respect all religions, races, and all kinds of, um, you know, people from different backgrounds. So, I, <laughs> maybe it's unrealistic, but I would love for that to be possible.